Hello tribe, today I'm sharing a part of Toby's introspective hypnosis session that took place back in May 2021. The reason why I was hesitant to share it previously is due to the low quality of the audio. Recently I did notice that many people, collectively speaking, are struggling with their emotional or mental well-being and thought that this session might be beneficial or insightful for some of you. In case some of your own triggers or feelings come up listening to this session, allow it to flow through you. It is completely normal. I once again want to thank Toby for giving me the permission to share this with you and let's get into it. Good. I want you to take your soul out of your body and float in the corner of the room. And tell me what you see about that body. What is happening? I'm being controlled. And who's controlling you if you knew? It feels like the devil. How does that devil look like? Can you see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Continue. I like a, a sort of a beast devil. Very good. And what is it doing? Manipulating. And where is the devil when you see your body? Just sitting on my feet. Just watching me. Is there something that it's saying? I don't know, but I just want to get rid of it. I, 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 I know he's there now. Now, as this devil is sitting on your feet, what are your emotional reactions? I want to kill him. Where do you hold that in your body when you want my, to kill him? I feel my breath just... Now I want you to take a look in the eyes of this devil. Does this energy feel familiar to you? This is fear. Is this fear and this devil a part of Toby or it's a completely different energy? I feel sad because it's me. And when you're looking at that devil and you feel your breath, what's happening next? I just feel sad. Because I've, I, I've let it in. But let's go back to the memory when you first let it in. I feel like I'm a child. Approximately how old are you? Maybe 10, 12. And what is happening around you? How are you feeling there? Just alone. Where are your parents? If you knew. In the house. And when you feel alone and your parents are in the house, what do you do? I don't really know I'm alone. It's how I feel inside. Are you in your room? I feel upset because I'm in my room. Now let's move a little bit forward when you feel sad and you feel alone. Take yourself a bit farther. What happens next? That's when I'm a teenager. Just depressed. And when you're depressed, how does your body feel like? Where do you hold that depression? Just in my body is heavy. Is it all over your body? Yeah. It's a sense of self-worth. I just don't feel it. And if you knew, are you inside or outside? In summer bedroom. And what are you doing there? Just sitting on my bed, just thinking about my life. And what are you thinking? This feels hopeless. Continue just what's feel, happening next. Just feel alone. What is it that you think you need in order for you to fill that void? To be listened to. To be listened to, very good. Is there anything else that you're missing? Love. 
Very good. Do you feel like your parents are in the house? Yeah. Now I want you to open a door and go to your parents and tell me what you see. They're watching television downstairs. Very good. And when you approach them, do they acknowledge you? Yeah. And what do they say? Just, they're just watching television. They just say hello. I want you to express yourself to your parents in that moment and tell them how you're feeling. Look at them both looking at you. Tell them everything that is happening with you internally. I don't feel like I can be bothered to tell them. And when you think that you can't be bothered to tell them, why is that? I just don't really get it. Why do you think your parents will not get it? The parents they love you. They just dismiss things. Ask them. Imagine them standing right in front of you. Ask them why they've been acting this way. I want you to start with your dad first. Look in his eyes and ask him why he was behaving that way and tell me what he says. It's like he's a boy. He's a boy. Yeah, he's, because he's like a boy. Once you're done, I want you to take a look at your father's eyes again. For all that you are missing, do you feel like you have forgiveness for what has happened before or you are not given? Yeah. Do you feel like you completely fulfilled or would you like to say something else? No, I feel it's enough. Very good. Now I want you to imagine your mom Imagine her standing right in front of you. What would you like to say to her? Just, just that I love her. Do you feel like something was missing from Barb's side for you too? Yes, but I understand how hard it was. And when you're looking in her eyes, what emotion does she have? She loves me. She says that she always loves me. Now I want you to go back to your room where we started and sit back on the same bed you sat before when you were 17 years old in the same memory and tell me how you feel there. I feel com comforted, more peaceful. Now I want you to see if there is an energy that you saw before that's still sitting around. No, it's a lot brighter. Very good. I want you to come back to your body, bring yourself back to your body.